And we're hoping, like, after you do this for 30 days, you're going to see how wonderful you feel. Right. And you're going to want to do even more yep. to help yourself. So, this morning, I'm in the greenhouse. I'm cutting the suckers off of the tomato plants. These little suckers kind of form in between the main stem and the out branching stems and they prevent the main stem from growing upwards. So I cut all these suckers and that's how I get all of my tomato plants in here to grow to the ceiling of this greenhouse. But that's not why I have you in here today. Today we're talking about celery juice. We're going to talk about the 30-day celery juice cleanse. It's something simple and easy and something that everybody can at least try out and see if it helps you. You know, there's a lot of people out there dealing with all sorts of symptoms and conditions and they're going from doctor to doctor not really getting the answers they're looking for. So this is something very simple, very easy. Everybody can do this. They can try out the celery juice, do it in this 30-day cleanse, and after 30 days, just see how you feel. And if you feel better, maybe you'll keep going and you'll go past those 30 days. So let me show you how we start our morning. So we typically start the morning with our lemon water. So lemon water, we do 32 ounces. This cleanse, the 30 day celery juice cleanse, this is in Anthony Williams' celery juice book. So in the book he says, start with 32 ounces of fresh lemon water. And all you're doing is putting water in a glass and then squeezing some lemon. We typically will squeeze one whole lemon per 32 ounces. So what this does is, while you've been sleeping at night, your liver's been doing all this work, cleaning up all of these toxins that you've stored in it throughout a lifetime and throughout what you've been eating the day before. So we need to flush the liver, and that's why you do the 32 ounces of lemon water, is this gently flushes the liver first thing in the morning. So that's how we start our morning. And then after we drink this, typically we move on to the main course, the celery juice. And that's what we're, we're committing to, the celery juice cleanse. So uh, next up is going to be the celery juice. Ashley is making that right now. But while we're waiting for the celery juice, let's talk about celery juice and why celery juice is so important and why everybody should be drinking it. Okay, so if you've seen some of our other videos, then you've heard us talk about this ledge. And this ledge is something everybody has in their bodies and it's where all of the old rancid fats and proteins and toxins, it's where they sit. And they cause a blockade. And celery juice will get that blockade uh, knocked down so everything can start flowing properly. On top of that, everybody is walking around with a stagnant sluggish liver these days. So, livers that just aren't working properly. And then our bodies are just filled with environmental toxins. So, they're filled with DDT, pesticides, heavy metals, which sink in the body, radiation, and then everybody has pathogens viruses and bacteria in their bodies. And these viruses and bacteria, they feed, and then in our livers we have uh, fat cells. And all of these toxins get absorbed into the fat cells, and now you're, you have a constant food source for these pathogens. Okay, and these pathogens, they live everywhere. They live in the gut, they live in the bloodstream, they live in the liver, they live in the thyroid, and they wreak havoc on the body. And that's what causes a lot of symptoms and conditions these days. 
know, and everybody's got a symptom, everybody's got a condition, it just hasn't been unmasked yet. And so celery juice is like the ultimate weapon against all of this stuff. But you can see there's a lot going on in the body, so celery juice has to do a lot before it actually makes its way to the liver, your heart, your brain, where it can actually do some, some major work. So this is what celery juice can do for you. So I'm going to go check in. I wonder where Ashley is with that celery juice. But i got to get drinking this lemon water. So we're going to check back in in a little bit. Ready for your celery? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our celery juice. I've got Ashley in here now. So I was just telling everybody about the celery juice and all the wonderful things it removes from your body. Do you want to tell them kind of how we make it and stuff? Sure. Yeah, so we, um, we juice the celery. So you want to get a juicer. If you don't have a juicer, you could always try out blending it in a blender and then strain it. Um, you can do a strainer, a nut milk bag actually makes it much easier. But long term, you want to do a juicer because you're going to get the best quality juice out of that. You want to have at least 16 ounces in order for it to really work. However, if your body is sensitive, you can try smaller amounts like 4 ounces or 8 ounces and work your way up to that 16 ounces. As you can see here, we have a lot that we drink. This is 32 ounces that we have worked up to that we have every single morning. Um, just to really take in the benefits that celery juice does for you. Did you tell them about all that already? I didn't really, t I mean, I told them all this stuff it removes from the body, <laughs> which then you know, the celery juice is going to come in and, you know, benefit them in other ways. Yeah, yeah. So it'll also provide you mineral salts, which is going to be like electrolytes. It's going to hydrate your body on a whole nother level. It's going to provide you a vitamin C that you won't get from other things like oranges. And, um... Repair your, your uh, hydrochloric acid yes, in your stomach, you, <laughs> you know, because all of from all of the, all of those toxins and the rancid fats in your stomach, it causes gut problems, and so repair your gut health. Yeah, it'll really repair your gut health if you have acid reflux. It reflux. Reflux. Reflux <laughs> <laughs> issues. That will also help. I mean, celery. The the list is endless. Um, so look up medical medium celery juice benefits, and you will find. The list is just endless. Or and, go get the celery juice book. Yes, celery Even juice. Even better. Lots of information on that. So, celery juice, you can make it in the morning and drink it fresh. If you don't have time in the morning, you can make it in the evening, put a nice uh, tight seal on it. So, like a mason jar lid would be perfect and then you can drink it in the morning. It's usually good for about 24 hours once you make it, but it is better to drink fresh if you can, but you can do it the night before if that makes it easier for you. All right, so we're gonna get these celery juices down and then we're going to sit down with you and eat breakfast and talk to you a little bit more about this 30-day celery juice cleanse so you can see what we have for breakfast during this cleanse. Sounds good. All right. See you soon. So why don't you explain the spread we got going on here? Okay. So first thing you want to have for breakfast is either your heavy metal detox smoothie or some fruit. And what we like to do because it's melon season right now is we will have some melon first because you want to eat melon on an empty stomach. It is a pre-digested food, which means it goes through your body very quickly. And you don't want to eat something else and then the melon on top of it because it could potentially rot because it's trying to digest so quickly. So we have our melon and then we go on to our 
heavy metal detox smoothie modified. Mm -hmm. Since we're off grid right now, we don't have a ton of power and it doesn't, it's not enough power to power our blender. Yeah. So we haven't been doing smoothies, we've been doing a modified version, but you should do the heavy metal detox smoothie after your melon. Um, but we'll do our modified version, which is the wild blueberry powder, the spirulina powder, and the barley grass powder with water. The powders are from Vimergy. And then we'll bring in the dulce and the cilantro other parts of the day. So to bring in those five ingredients. Um, and then we'll move on to more fruit. So lately we've been doing these fruit bowls. Uh, we're lucky enough to have tons of berry bushes, uh, blackberry bushes around us. So I've been picking those and then I've also brought in some strawberries and blueberries. And what we do is we've also been bringing that into an adrenal snack because one of Anthony's adrenal snacks is berries with honey. So we'll drizzle some honey on it with a side of celery juice. So I've been making like an extra celery juice for us to share that we will drink with the berries and that helps um, revitalize your adrenal glands which can get worn out you know, if you're doing too much or um, not eating enough um, or just spiking your adrenaline in some way. So so if you have to have that coffee, <laughs> hit it up with an adrenal snack right after because yes. the coffee will wear your adrenals down and then you do an adrenal snack and that will, will kind of build it back up. Yep. So we'll have the melon, heavy metal detox smoothie, and the berries. The smoothie is pretty filling if you make yourself a nice big one, which works out to fit into like a 32 ounce mason jar. That's usually pretty filling when we drink that. And then before lunch, we'll just be munching on other fruit. Since we don't have the smoothie, we're definitely filling up on lots and lots of fruit. So after this, we'll still be eating. We're, we're munching on bananas, apples, other fruits. We'll have orange with our dulse, so we're bringing in the dulse as part of the heavy metal detox smoothie. Um, pretty much keeping it all fat free, right? Or keeping it fat free. Yeah, and on this cleanse, all you have to try to do is keep your mornings fat free. And the fats we're talking about are like fats or foods that get their calories from the fat. So there's healthy fats and unhealthy fats, right? What are some healthy fats? So healthy fats would be like avocado, nuts, seeds, plant oils, uh, coconut, and things like uh, nut milks. And then there's the unhealthy fats like all your dairy products, you know, milk, butter, Cheese. cheese and then eggs and then all your meat products so like your chicken your beef your pork your fish and then fish oil capsules is a trend that is going kind of crazy right now and that's something you want to avoid as well yeah so you want to keep all of these things out because it's going to prevent the celery juice from doing its thing um, because it's going to clog up your bloodstream right yeah, fats, they get in the bloodstream and they sit there for an extended period of time. If you haven't seen that video, we did a video on fats and how long they remain in the bloodstream. And that has some great information on what we're talking about. But uh, celery juice has these sodium cluster salts. And so the sodium cluster salts work through the bloodstream mm -hmm. to take down these pathogens and when you have all of these fats you're consuming it's preventing the sodium cluster salts from doing the job. So if you're thinking you want to keep things rolling through lunch and still do no fats, we'll be back. And we'll show you what we had for lunch. So see you guys soon. So here we are back again this time we're eating lunch. Yes, and we've got these big salads. This is typically what we've been having for lunch lately because we have so much lettuce and vegetables in the garden. So we've been making these big salads. We also love doing big smoothies for lunch. You know, you could do a big 32 ounce um, smoothie with frozen uh, fruit, leafy greens, um, 
any sort of yummy juice you want, blend it up. That's a great alternative to this as well. But we make these salads so big because we want to fill up until we have our celery juice later in the day. Yeah, and there's a ton of great recipes in all of the medical medium books. So if you need some good ideas for lunch, go check out some of his books. As Ashley was saying, we have a second celery juice. We're usually around 4 o'clock or so, we'll bring in that second celery juice. It's not something on this 30-day celery juice cleanse, but it's something that we'd recommend doing if you're chronically ill or dealing with symptoms and conditions that are unexplainable. Okay, so we took a quick break, ate our salads, got those big salads down, now we are full and happy. Back to the celery juice cleanse. So as we mentioned before, you want to keep out all fats, unhealthy and healthy fats, in the morning time to allow your body to detox. If you want to keep the detox going, you should continue to keep those out of your diet until at least your second celery juice. That's what we like to do just to kind of keep the detox going throughout the day, let it all the nutrients of our salads get absorbed into our body and then let that second celery juice really do its thing without any fats in the bloodstream. Yeah, and so the there's also uh, problematic foods and these are the foods that you want to avoid throughout the entire 30-day celery juice cleanse, right? Yep. And so those problematic foods are milk, cheese, butter, whey protein, um, yogurt, all dairy products, eggs, gluten, pork, <clears throat> corn, soy, nutritional yeast, vinegar, fermented foods, canola oil, and natural flavors, which you'll find on the labels of a lot of products. And we're hoping, like, after you do this for 30 days, you're going to see how wonderful you feel. Right. And you're going to want to do even more yep. to help yourself. And then eventually, you'll be taking four steps forward, and then maybe you'll take one step back here and there. But, but the detox, it will feel like it. Yes. Because you'll feel... You'll feel some symptoms. You'll feel symptoms, but you will be doing so much good for your body. Totally. So... To recap, this celery juice cleanse, you're going to start your morning with that 32 ounces of lemon water. Then you're going to move on to your celery juice. Try to do 16 ounces and then work your way up eventually to 32 ounces. Make sure you wait 30 minutes in between. 30 minutes in between. And then what about what for breakfast? So after the celery juice, wait 30 minutes. And then you're going to have your heavy metal detox smoothie. Um, and a bunch of fruit. So just fill up on a bunch of fruit, get that heavy metal detox smoothie in, and keep out all fats. Yep, fat-free morning. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to lunchtime, if you're feeling good and you want to keep going, have a salad for lunch. And without the fats. Without the fats, if you can do it. If you can do it, or if you, not. Or, or they can have a smoothie. Or the smoothie, yes. And make sure you put lots of leafy greens in there. And if you feel like you need the fats, go to the healthy fats that we talked about earlier where we said like avocados, nuts, seeds, oils, like yes. those types of fats. And then from there, if you want to even keep going, you can incorporate that second celery juice. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to flush anything that you've detoxed throughout the day even further out of your system. And then when it comes to dinner time, continue to keep out all those troublemakers problematic foods the problematic foods that's you want to keep those out for the whole 30 days but continue to keep those out and then have what you want within the parameters for dinner and then if you're looking for recipes or good ideas you've got all of Anthony's books at your disposal you know you can read through all his books and look at a ton of recipes he's got raw recipes he's got recipes that incorporate some healthy fats. I mean, he's got a lot of different options for you. Yeah, and check us out on Instagram. We try to post easy recipes up on our feed. It's all laid out to you. That's the 30-day celery juice cleanse. Yes. We know you can do it. Yes.
and let us know if we can help in any way. Drop us some comments. Let us know what's going on. Let us know if you're doing it. Let us know how you're feeling. You know, we've been doing this a long time now, and yeah. we, we definitely feel you if you're just getting started. But we know you're going to like it. We know you're going to continue even after those 30 days. Yep. Give this video a like if you're going to try it, or if you've already done it, or if you love celery juice. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the little bell to get notified every time we post a new video. All right. Well, there you go. Okay. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.